Well, I'm here to do my week four uh, mid-course reflection um, and kind of what I've learned the last uh, four weeks in this class. Um, this class has been pretty interesting to me to say the least. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in sociology, so uh, organizational theory, you know, comes from kind of that background of sociology. Um, so, um, you know, beginning kind of in week one, I was just learning what organizational theory was as a whole. Um, and in the past four weeks, we've gone over lots of different aspects of what uh, organizational theory um, is in many ways. Um, and what I mean by that is um, learning about like organizational design, um, organizational structures, and then um, uh, system thinking, and uh, the complexity of science with regards to um, organizational theory. Um, a couple of concepts um, that I would really like to apply um, in my current like career. Um, so I'm a social worker out in Southern California. Um, and I've been doing it for like the last seven and a half years, roughly. Um, so a couple of them is organizational uh, diversity. Um, I feel like that's a really, really important uh, topic uh, just because in, in my organization, I deal with a lot of different uh, cultures and background. Um, so sometimes I run across um, uh, issues um, or challenges where I, I just don't know um, how to help the families. Um, so one of, an example of that um, is Hispanic culture. Um, don't know much about the, the culture, um, but what I do know is, um, you know, we serve individuals with disabilities and Hispanic culture, they're very big on taking care of their own and not taking like resources, outside resources from people so or organizations so one of the biggest things with that is um leaning on like my uh, fellow employees that i work with um to help me like with trying to um, explain the services and stuff to them um and if you know and these employees have the hispanic uh, culture background um so that's super helpful and then leadership and how um leadership affects uh organizations um as we know if it's poor leadership um the organization's not going to run smoothly. Um, and with that, um, my organization struggles with leadership issues. Um, there's been a lot of trust, broken trust between employees and uh, management the last like three years because we've been going through a contract battle because I'm a union. Um, and with regards to that, it's been really, really tough um, where management does a lot of uh, terrible things to employees just for no reason, just to out of despite um, and they make our job sometimes really hard. Um, so just learning um, how to be an effective leader to make the organizing, organization successful is super important to me um, in learning um, in this class. Because uh, like I said, um, I've, I've struggled with leadership over the last few years, um, or my I should say my leadership um, that I'm under. Um, it's been really, really, really tough. Um, and so, um, and moving forward, um, some possible, um, research topics for my dissertation, um, high turnover has been a really big issue, um, with organizations throughout the last couple of years, um, in my organization, it's terrible. Um, we've had such a high turnover rate because of management issues and, um, just the amount of work we have to do is a lot of work. Uh, so people just can't handle it. So um, I want to kind of get down to the root core um, just regarding like nonprofit organizations, why uh, turnover might be high as well as, um, like I said, finding those contributing factors as to why it's high. Um, so um, it could be, you know, the work environment, it could be leadership, um, you know, way management does, you know, certain things. Um, it could be HR issues as well. 
um, and retention policies and things like that. So just trying to get down to the root core of why turnover is so bad in nonprofit, especially in Southern California is my main focus. Um, so a lot of obstacles that I've come across um, and I think we'll moving forward will come across is when trying to gather information, um, like in doing interviews to get the information from people that have worked in nonprofit organizations. Um, COVID-19 is still a big thing, especially in California. Um, the area that I live in, there's been a lot of cases still, um, and it's been rising again. Uh, so just trying to like meet with people. Um, it's not always fun doing it via like Zoom because there's technical issues and things like that. So um, just trying to meet with people has been kind of a struggle because um, I've done practice runs in other classes uh, regarding like interviewing and stuff like that. So that's been kind of hard. Um, and lastly, uh, you know, incorporating my instructor's feedback. Um, you know, I respect the feedback and trying to help me, especially with the current uh, project for our outline, um, our project outline. Um, you know, I, I take all that into consideration from uh, what Dr. Morrow um, explains um, in feedback, uh, just because, like I said, we're still learning scholars um, and trying to become, you know, um, getting our doctoral degree, like I said, in leadership and management. So, um, yeah, like I said, just taking that all in and, and getting that help is uh, super helpful from the instructor and just knowing like what to change and what to fix inside um, assignments has always been super helpful for me. So thank you for your time. Have a good day.